Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about geometrical interpretation of triangular inequality. Now the triangle inequality is modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is less than or equal to modulus of Z1 plus modulus of Z2 where Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers. Now let us discuss the geometrical interpretation of triangular inequality which is modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is less than or equal to modulus of Z1 plus modulus of Z2. Now let the complex number Z1 is equal to X1 plus Y1 iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to X2 plus Y2 iota be represented by the points P that is Z1 is represented by the point P and Z2 is represented by the point Q in the argument diagram in the complex plane That is, if the point P represents the complex number Z1, then the coordinates of point P are X1, Y1. And if the point Q is representing the number Z2, that is the complex number Z2, then the coordinates of point Q are X2, Y2. So we have drawn the points P and Q on the Argon plane. Now join the origin O with the points P and Q and then complete the parallelogram O P R Q. So this is the parallelogram O P R Q. Q with OP and OQ as the adjacent sides. Now draw the perpendiculars PM, QN and RS to the x-axis and PM perpendicular to RS. So now we have drawn the perpendiculars. Now in triangle OQM and triangle PLR angle ONQ is equal to angle PLR each 90 degrees. Then the sides OQ is equal to PR. These are the opposite sides of the parallelogram. And opposite sides of the parallelogram are parallel and equal. And let this be angle 1 and this be angle 2 and angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now let us take this angle 3 and this as angle 4. Now QM and RS are perpendicular to the line OX that is the X axis that means QM is parallel to RS and QI is the transversal. This means angle MQR plus angle QRS 
is equal to 180 degrees as these will be the interior alight angles. And since OQ RP is a parallelogram, that means angle OQR plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degrees. These are also interior light angles. So from 1 and 2, we have angle MQR plus angle QRS is equal to angle OQR plus angle PRQ. Now, angle MQR is equal to angle 3 plus angle QRS can be written as angle 2 plus angle 4 that is this angle angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to angle OQR that is this complete angle can be written as angle 1 plus angle 3 plus angle PRQ is angle 4. Now, this implies angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Therefore, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. This we have proved. Therefore, by angle angle side property, triangle OQN is congruent to triangle PLR. Therefore, ON is equal to PM and QN is equal to RL. This is why CPCTC that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now from the diagram you can see that PL is equal to MS. So we have from this equation ON is equal to PL is equal to MS. Now here ON is equal to X2 So this is equal to X2 as we have drawn a point Q whose coordinates are X2, Y2 that is this point is at a distance of x2 from the origin. So therefore, on is equal to x2. And the y coordinate of q is y2. That means qn is equal to y2. Therefore, qn is equal to rl is equal to y2. Now OS is equal to OM plus MS. Now the X coordinate of P is X1. That means OM is equal to X1. And we have proved MS is equal to X2. So this is equal to X1 plus X2. And SM is equal to Y1. As SL is equal to MP and MP is equal to Y1 as the Y coordinate of P is Y1. Therefore SL is also Y1 and we have proved RL is equal to Y2. Therefore RS is equal to RL plus LS which is equal to Y2 plus Y1 which is equal to Y1 plus Y2. So OS is equal to X1 plus X2 and RS is equal to Y1 plus Y2. So the coordinates of R are X1 plus X2, Y1 plus Y2. That is the X coordinate of R is X1 plus X2 and Y coordinate of R is Y1 plus Y2. So as the coordinates of R are 
आर x1 वन प्लस एक्स टू वाई वन प्लस वाई टू हेंस द पॉइंट आर रिप्रेजेंट्स द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर x1 वन प्लस एक्स टू द होल प्लस वाई वन प्लस वाई टू द होल इंटू अयोटा विच इज इक्वल टू जेड वन प्लस जेड टू एज जेड वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन प्लस वाई वन अयोटा एंड जेड टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू प्लस वाई टू अयोटा एंड देर सम दैट इज जेड वन प्लस जेड टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू द होल प्लस वाई वन प्लस वाई टू द होल इन टू आयोटा ना फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल ओ पी आर वी नो दैट ओ आर इज लेस देन ओ पी प्लस पी आर बिकॉज इन अ ट्राइंगल सम ऑफ टू साइड इज ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड साइड नाउ वी नो दैट मॉडलस ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज जस्ट द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर दैट इज टू द पॉइंट दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो हेयर The distance OP is the modulus of the complex number Z1 as the point P is representing the complex number Z1 and OP is the distance of the origin to the point P so OP is equal to the modulus of Z1 and pr is equal to oq as these are the opposite sides of the parallelogram and we know that q is representing the number that is the complex number z2 that means oq is equal to the modulus of z2 this means that pr is equal to oq so pr will be also equal to the modulus of z2 and r is representing the complex number z1 plus z2 so or represents the modulus of z1 plus z2 so this implies modulus of z1 plus z2 that is the distance or is less than op which is the modulus of z1 plus pr which is the modulus of z2 now let us name this in equation as a now if the points o p and r are collinear that is if these points are lying on the same line then OR is equal to OP plus PR, which implies modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to modulus of Z1 plus modulus of Z2. So from A and B, we get modulus of Z1 plus Z2. is less than equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 which is the triangle inequality now let us discuss one example in the first case let us take Z1 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota. That is the complex number Z1 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota. 
the complex number z2 is equal to minus 2 minus 4 iota and z1 plus z2 will be equal to 2 plus 3 iota the whole plus minus 2 minus 4 iota the whole which is further equal to 0 minus iota. Now modulus of z1 plus z2 will be equal to square root of 0 square plus minus 1 square which is equal to minus 1 square and this is equal to 1 and modulus of z1 will be equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square which is equal to root 4 plus 9 which is equal to root 13 and modulus of z2 will be equal to square root of minus 2 square plus minus 4 square which is equal to square root of 4 plus 16 which is equal to root 20 which is further equal to to root 5. Now here you can observe that modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 as 1 is less than root 13 plus 2 root 5. So here we have got modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. Now let us discuss the second case. Here let the complex number z1 is equal to 1 plus 2 iota and the complex number z2 is equal to 2 plus 4 iota then z1 plus z2 will be equal to 1 plus 2 iota the whole plus 2 plus 4 iota the whole which is further equal to 3 plus 6 iota. Now here modulus of z1 plus z2 is equal to square root of a square plus b square which is square root of 3 square plus 6 square which is equal to root 9 plus 36 which is equal to root 45 and which is further equal to 3 root 5. And modulus of z1 is equal to square root of 1 square plus 2 square which is equal to square root of 1 plus 4 which is equal to root 5. And Modulus of z2 is equal to square root of 2 square plus 4 square which is equal to square root of 4 plus 16 which is equal to root 20 and this can be written as 2 root 5. Now modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 is equal to root 5 plus 2 root 5 which is equal to 3 root 5. Now modulus of z1 plus z2 is equal to 3 root 5 and we have got modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 is equal to 3 root 5. Therefore modulus of z1 plus z2 is equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. Now from these examples we can observe that either modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 or modulus of z1 plus z2 is equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. Hence modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. That is, either modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 or modulus of z1 plus z2 is equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. And this is called 
the triangle inequality. So in this session we have learnt about the geometrical interpretation of triangular inequality. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.